All right, now we're gonna hope that we don't need to use this, okay? Got it. But just in case, if I say, if I say pull me, then you're gonna gently and slowly pull me out of here, okay? Okay. Got it? Is that tight enough? The rope is plenty tight. Son, your dad may be a failure, but I hope you know that I'm at least trying. I know. It looks like you're trying really hard. You're already red. Huh? No, you're already red from how hard you've been trying. Your face is red and everything. Hey there, folks. Lester here. It is a steaming hot day, uh, over 100 degrees here at Longhorn Lester's. And uh, I'm about to go out and show you all a little problem that we're having out by the culvert uh, that goes under the driveway. And uh, let me turn my camera around. We're going to talk a little bit about it as we walk so over that Everyone's way. aware of the erosion issues that we have here at Longhorn Lester's. And we've done quite a few things to address most of them. We spent what I'd say some pretty good money to have a lot of things done to help us with our erosion. But there's one thing that we never accounted for. I'm gonna walk over and show y'all now. And this is gonna be a this is gonna be All tight. Right. So even though there's no water in the pond yet, the pond guys have come and they got us a nice big pond over on our spillway. Over on the other side, they put all this real nice uh rip wrap. I, I think some people call it bull rock but looky here they even built us a bulkhead now under our bulkhead we have a 36 inch culvert 36 inch culvert yet they're standing water i'm going to pass over the driveway to the other side and show you what's wrong here now this culvert it's a long one y'all it's probably 20 foot or more and it goes from here all the way into the driveway to the far side but uh, let me show you something. I'm over on the other side of the culvert, and guess what? It's dry. It is dry. You see, that culvert is packed with mud and all kinds of debris from things that have run off that hill over the, over the years. And so nothing's getting through our culvert. Nothing's coming under our driveway. Nothing can flow through. The natural elevation should flow this way, and things should go right down along this creek here to wherever it goes to but nothing's able to get through our culvert because it's so packed full of mud. Now, there's an easy way to solve this, and there's a hard way. But my friends, either way is gonna require me to get pretty dirty, and I'm gonna get down in, in the mix. So, you guys keep your fingers crossed. I can take a shovel and clean that mud up, kind of move it out of the way, let the water pressure push the mud on through and clean that thing out for us. If not, it's going to get real dirty around right, here. I'm coming along first with this special tool that I refer to as my snake killer. Guys, I don't want to hear any mess right now about, Lester, that was a good snake, Lester. That thing probably helped you a lot with your mice issues. I don't want to hear it. If I see a, a snake down in all of this mess, it's going to be a dead snake with no head. And because, first of all, this is very scary to me. I don't like doing stuff like this. This is not my uh, kind of adventure. So I am looking all around because I can only imagine in the kind of heat that we're having, this is probably a cesspool for lots of big, mean snakes. Um, you can see how big the culvert is. And so why there's no water flowing through it is beside me. What I'm gonna do to help me a little bit, well, first of all, I'm looking around to make sure there's no snakes laid up and I'm going to take that limb that's over the top of it and get it out of there because that's just kind of, I'm gonna feel snakes every time it touches me because I'm the kind of guy who can imagine stuff. I have a imagination and there. All right, so now I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees and we're gonna look in there. I did bring a flashlight. Oh, oh, so as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but the mud is all over on the other end. There's no mud on my end here at all. 
Can y'all see down in there? There's no mud on my end at all. This is actually very clean over here. So all of the mud and debris is over on the far end. Y'all see that over there. So that's what we're going to have to get in there. And uh, from the other side, which is where all the water's at. Okay. Okay. Well, so now I have a little bit of a change of plans. This is going to... This is going to require me to get dirty. All right, so it was not easy to traverse my way down here. This uh, bull rock is not easy to walk on. And then I have to step into all of this, but I'm going to have to get dirty, guys. I'm going to have to get in there and get dirty. I brought a long pipe with me to hopefully push around through there, which might can help break up some of that mud and let this water flow through. I believe the water pressure on this side alone if I could just break through the mud, would be enough to push it on through. And that's what we're going to hope for. I don't like seeing bubbles coming up out of the water. Oh, it's boggy. It is boggy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not good. It's boggy. I've been in a situation like this before. That's a bad situation. I've been in that before where I've almost died that way one time. I almost died that way one time. That's a bad situation right there. This is a bad situation right here. I sunk to my calves, but that's enough to freak me out. So, I need some kind of a security rope or something. All right, son. You are going to be a part of something epic today. You do realize that, right? Yes, I do. You're going to make history. Okay, I need you to cost me. Toss me the safety rope. Toss me the safety line. You know, toss me the other end. Toss it to me. Thank you. See, it gets to right there. And it hits something, something is lodged in there so thick that I can't put, penetrate through it. Should we bust a hole through that? Huh? We should bust a hole through the other side of there. Bust a hole through the side of it? Yeah. Through the back side of it? Yeah. I have to crawl like 20 feet into it. I don't want to crawl under there. This is scary enough as it is. Just pull with all your might, all your strength. So the hard part about this is I'm standing in just muck. You know what that means? Just like total quicksand yeah. type mud. And I can't maneuver. I just can't maneuver. How deep does it feel? I just can't stand up to get a good hammer swing. There we go. I have an idea. Oh. oh, boy, you better watch out. If I get turned around the right way, uh-uh, get in there. You getting it? I don't know. It's going. I have an idea. What? Put your hand on it and then just shove it in. That ain't working at all, son. Are you trying to push it in or pull it out? I'm 
trying to wiggle it around to wiggle all the mud loose. Oh, you want the mud out of it. Okay. I'm not so much scared of come here and walk around. I'll show you what I'm least scared of. Bring the camera over here. All right, what scares me more than anything else in this murky, nasty, swampy water is that thing right there, Lex. Do you see that den of some sort? No. Let's look at that hole that something has burrowed into the side of that little cliff. Do you see it towards the bottom? There's a hole that something has burrowed itself into. Oh, it's like a hole. You see that? It's like a hole inside of that mini mountain. Yeah, there's a hole that something has been burrowing itself into and it has to be some kind of a waterborne. I think I know what it is. What? what? Um, Careful what you say, cause I don't wanna, cause there's no one to pull me out of here if I have to get out of here fast. You're down here with me. Who's the, gonna pull me out if I have to run? The insects, those little flying. No, dogs. Lex, that's a big hole. That is a big hole that something big could swim in and out of. Like a water rat is what I, oh. what I fear. 20 minutes. minutes of beating that pole all of this work and i don't think anything really happened you done with that i'm gonna try i'm gonna come on out of here let's see who weighs more the foiler or you no listen to me i'm saying yay god hears me i cannot get my my left leg out i'm gonna have to is it that rock that i threw down there no 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 the mud has such a suction to it oh here oh my gosh Throw that mud on him? That's crazy. Yeah. What about the other one? Okay. Son. This is what we do at Longhorn Lester's. That's what we have to do to try to make this place better, Lex. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm lightheaded now. You're probably saying, Lester, what's the big deal? Who cares if there's that water standing right there not flowing through your culvert? Well, ain't a big deal right now. But the problem is we get a heavy rain and all this water flows to here and it can't go anywhere. It's going to fill up over here. It's going to eventually go over our bulkhead, over our driveway and wash our driveway out. So water has to be able to flow through the culvert and make its way to, uh, what make its way downhill. You know, that's what it's supposed to happen. And uh, listen, I'm actually thinking I make some headway there. I'm gonna walk to the other side and see if I see water coming through. And if so, that's a win for us. Y'all give me a second. Guess what, friends? You see that right there? That's water. And now we have water that seems to be kind of gently flowing so i am making some headway what i did was something right and i am making headway so that's a that's a win don't let your troubles fester come watch longhorn lester <laughs> yeah something like that